the adani group has been hit by another storm documents obtained by occrp and shared by it with the guardian and the financial times suggest alleged stock manipulation by four adani companies between 2013 and 2017 occrp stands for organized crime and corruption reporting project and is a network of investigative journalists this comes after an explosive report by us based short selling firm hindenburg research it accused the adani group of running the largest con in corporate history in this episode of nl cheat sheet i will explain the new allegations against adani the people behind this alleged manipulation violations if any and the response of the authorities first the allegation it involves an intricate web of shell companies and funds the story goes like this two foreign nationals nasir ali shaban ali and chang chung ling registered four shell companies in tax havens from 2010 onwards the money flowed from these four shell companies to two mauritius based funds em resurgent fund and emerging india focus funds monies from these two funds were again transferred to a broader fund called global opportunities fund based in bermuda global opportunities fund emrf and eiff then exclusively bought shares and derivatives in four adani companies you might wonder why it's wrong for two individuals to invest in publicly listed firms a fair question yes it's legal for an individual to buy or sell stocks but according to market regulator sebi's rule on the shareholding pattern a maximum of 75% of shares of a company can be held by promoters and directors a minimum of 25% of the shares are meant for the public called free float this division in shareholding prevents artificial gain in share prices suppose if directors promoters or insiders hold all shares of their company they can create artificial demand and farcical scarcity of shares and this is stock manipulation Now let's return to the two persons of interest here Nasir Ali Shaban Ali and Chang Chung Ling They had by 2017 bought shares worth 430 million dollars in four Adani companies They held shares meant for the public The Financial Times shows that Ali and Chang had held 13% of shares meant for the public in three of four Adani companies It's legal for Ali and Chang to hold the free float if they are the real public but they aren't they are instant close associates of vinod adani elder brother of adani group chairperson gautam adani the two men have been directors in adani group of companies in the past chang and ali also transferred ownership of two companies based in safe havens to vinod in 2010 another link that connects vinod with chang and ali is em resurgent fund an emerging india focus fund that we talked about earlier a subsidiary of a uae company provided advisory services to emrf and eiff you know who was the director of that company it was none other than vinod adani this means that vinod was giving directions to chang and ali as how to invest in adani stocks earlier the hindenburg report alleged that shell companies controlled by vinod manipulated share prices of some of adani companies if adani had disclosed the identity of ali and chang two adani companies adani enterprises and adani transmission would have breached the 75% threshold of promoters shares this could have led to delisting of at least these two firms now what about the reaction from the market regulator sebi here too another surprise awaits us the investigation has fairly established how ali and chang were vinod's proxies could the occrp's investigation invite action from the market regulator sebi hold your breath sebi knew about it as early as 2014 just before the lok sabha elections but the investigation by the directorate of revenue intelligence which probes financial frauds fizzled out after narendra modi became prime minister we don't need to labor the point about how close modi and adani are anyway at that time DRI was investigating a case of suspicious overseas investment in Adani companies but recently before the Supreme Court which is hearing the Hindenburg case against Adani SEBI did not reveal that it had been informed by DRI about alleged stock manipulation back in 2014 the market regulator instead told the court that it began its investigation in 2020 based on complaints in the same year a fun fact UK Sina who was SEBI chairperson from 2011 to 2017 is now part of NDTV's board of directors Adani Group acquired majority shareholding 
in NDTV in March this year. Meanwhile, in response to the OCCRP investigation, Adani indicated, Arey yaar, ye to Hindenburg report ka rehash hai, kuch naya lao. Thank God, this time Adani did not say it was an attack on India. But let's not be flippant here. Adani called the OCCRP report suspicious, mischievous, malicious, baseless. Am I missing any other adjective here? Oh yes, he also called it another attempt by Soros funded interests. Journalism at News Laundry is powered by the public. Because when the public pays, the public is served. Visit newslaundry.com slash subscription and pick a payment plan of your choice. Pay to keep news free and independent. Your future and indeed the future of democracy depends on it.